We will now talk about the SR and T flip-flop. So the SR flip-flop is exactly the same kind of operation with the SR latch. So we have our S and R inputs. If they are 0, 0, this is your memory state where your previous value is kept in the output. If it is 0, 1, if reset is 1, then that means you will be resetted. The, the output is going to go to 0. If it is set, then the output is going to be 1. And if it is 1, 1, this is the not wanted state that we don't want this happen. The only difference from the latch is that you have a clock input now and in this case it's a trailing edge clock so all these happens at clock transition otherwise it doesn't happen so let's let's follow the, uh, the timing diagram here so at the very beginning clear is 1 so it doesn't affect anything so we don't know what our output is going to be so we're just gonna say this part we don't know until this part this is not 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 determined but then clear is zero which is enabled that means your Q output is gonna be zero until clear is done and then I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until the uh, trailing edge clock and it's right here so I'm gonna go all the way here and now I'm looking at the trailing edge so these are all my transitions and I'm gonna look at since we don't uh, worry about the clear now we're gonna look at our inputs set is 0 reset is 1 so it's gonna be reset so it's gonna still be 0 0 and now set is 1 and reset is 0 so it's gonna go to 1 set is 0 R is 1 it's gonna change right here not before that because it only can happen at the clock transition and now 0 0 that means it's the memory so whatever this value is it's gonna keep on going 0 1 so set is 1 0 1 set is 0 or reset is 1 so it's gonna be like this so now this is for our set reset flip-flop when it comes to the toggle flip-flop this is actually interesting so we call this toggle so it's like the toggle switch so what happens is that at the clock transition if T is 0 this is your memory effect so whatever your output was that's gonna same this gonna be the same but if the toggle is 1 that means your output will toggle that means your output will be flip or switch the output whatever the value is so let's look at the, the output for for this case so again similar uh, before clear is set there is nothing happening and the clear is zero so it's gonna be zero until here now toggle is one that means our, our output is gonna be toggled so it was zero so it's gonna go to one again the uh, trailing edge toggle is one it's gonna toggle from one to zero it says here now it's zero so it will keep its state memory state and here now it's toggle so it's gonna change its output here it's the memory state so it's gonna keep on going the same still memory state and then it's gonna change its output here so you have here toggle toggle 
memory toggle memory memory and toggle